Five key points you need to know about Prada Loam. First, the smell. So it starts off very clean and sharp. For the first 30 seconds, there's not really a specific note. And then after this period, you get kind of an orange tinge from the Neroli mixed with a spicy kick from the pink pepper. And then you have this combination for the first few minutes before it gives way to what Prada Loam is really known for. And that's the powdery iris and violet. So you really have this large emphasis on florals for the uh, most of the top notes and most of the heart notes. And then after about five hours, it, it starts to dry down and this gives way to a woody cedar that is both warm and smooth. So this is not a very complex scent, but there is still a very uh, big difference between the uh, top and mid, which is just florals, and then the base, which is almost exclusively uh, warm cedar. If you wanna know the specific notes, here are some, Fragrana has it listed as 12 notes. Third key point, the performance. So it's both good and bad. The longevity is great. It lasts eight plus hours on my skin. Sometimes the next morning in the shower, I can still smell it as a skin scent. However, the projection is not as good as the longevity. So it only pushes out one to two feet for the first few hours and then recedes closer to the skin and never becomes a skin scent, but it does have very intimate projection. However, this, this projection can be nice as it is very gentlemanly. So if you're in a crowded formal situation or you just want an easy to wear fragrance to the office, this can be of great benefit because you won't offend anybody if your um, scent bubble is too loud or if you accidentally apply too much. And this brings me to its great versatility. So you can wear this in the spring, summer, and fall. You can also wear it in the winter, but you just have to apply more sprays as it does get a little bit weak from the uh, fresh florals. They don't ha necessarily have enough uh, depth to really push through the cold and dry air. As for occasions, all of them, uh, this is especially a great office wear as it does have that gentlemanly projection. Before I jump into the final pros and cons, I'm gonna cover Prada Loam's price and presentation so that you know what to expect when you buy a bottle. So this is a 100 milliliter bottle and it was purchased from Prada's official website for $105. I always recommend buying Prada colognes from their official website as that's usually the cheapest way. Now sometimes on discounters you can find these bottles for $102 or $103, but just to ensure the authenticity, I always recommend buying from the official website if it's only going to be $2 or $3 more. So the presentation. The box is black with silver writing and looks like so. The last key point. Three pros. The first key pro is that it's a classy and gentleman fragrance. The second pro is that it's a unique fragrance. And the third and final pro is that it's an extremely easy to wear fragrance. And this is because of its smell and gentlemanly projection. And the one con that I can think of is the projection. If you really like fragrances that fill a room, then that would be a downfall for this. But if you really like that versatility factor of this, then you're good to go. Thanks for listening and subscribe for more if you want daily fragrance education and entertainment videos.